The incident happened at the end of the game after Gunners goalkeeper Ramstall celebrated the victory which has taken Arsenal eight points clear at the top of the table. Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramstall was kicked in the back by a Tottenham fan in a crazy ending to the North London Derby, which the Gunners won 2-0. After the Arsenal number one had argued with Spurs forward Richarlison following the conclusion of the match, the fan emerged at the front of the stand as Ram still bent down to collect a water bottle by the side of his goal. Despite Ram still being protected by a steward and teammate Gabriel, the fan was able to kick out at him and strike the stopper on the back. Arsenal's players and manager Mikel Arteta then left that side of the pitch and headed over to the opposite end to celebrate with their own supporters. Ramsdale was asked about the incident after the match by Sky Sports, and admitted that he had had some crack with Tottenham fans after the game, but insisted it was good-natured until the kick. Spurs fans were giving me some crack second half, and I gave them some back, he said. The few people I did give it to it was probably well greeted, in a sportsmanship way. But then a fan jumped over and gave me a little punch in the back. That's what happened. And it's a shame because it is just a game of football at the end of the day everyone, both sets of players, tried to bring me away. Thankfully nothing actually happened too drastically, but it's a sour taste. Tottenham have released a statement promising to ban the fan responsible. The club said, we are appalled by the behavior of a supporter that attempted to attack Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale at the end of today's match. Violence in any form has no place in football. The club has reviewed its CCTV footage to identify the supporter and will be working with the Met Police, Arsenal and Aaron Ramstel to take the strongest possible action, including an immediate ban from Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Arsenal won the game convincingly after scoring two first-half goals, with Hugo Lloris bundling the ball into his own net for the opener and skipper Martin Odegaard firing in a second from long range. A disappointing Spurs side were unable to respond in the second period, with Arsenal's win taking them eight points clear at the top. We deserved a two-goal lead and maybe deserved more, continued Ramstall. We played the way we wanted to play in the first half and got the deserved lead. On saves he made from Harry Kane and Son Hoon Min, he added, that's what I'm there to do. The manager also mentioned that in the last few North London derbies we haven't kept a clean sheet, so that spurred me on a bit. Arsenal boss Arteta didn't want to reflect on the incident, saying, I haven't seen anything and I don't want to, I just want to talk about football and the beautiful game we just played. Tomorrow we can review that. Spurs boss Antonio Conte added, It's not good, I repeat we have to always show respect in every moment. In this situation the final result affects everybody. I have to try and do the right consideration, if you are to get emotional you can be angry for the bad result. Tottenham defender Eric Vidi, Len Nocti, are also condemned the fan after the match, saying, I didn't see it, but it is just unacceptable really. There is nothing more than I can say other than it's unacceptable and it shouldn't have happened. The PFA released a statement shortly after the incident, and said, violence towards players is completely unacceptable. These types of incidents are happening far too often. Players have a right to be safe in their place of work. When a player is attacked we expect the laws and regulations that are in place to protect them and to be properly enforced. As the players union we treat this as a priority issue. We will be continuing to work with the authorities to demand that players and staff are better protected in their place of work. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye. We've been holding up all the girls for a minute.